Hi, welcome to the story of Shea Butter. My name is Wayne Dunn. I'm the founder or co-founder of Baraka Shea Butter. And we want to share some information on Shea Butter with you, not to convince you to buy it from us, although of course that would be nice, but we just think it's it's such an interesting topic. There's there's so much about it that is not well known. I want to talk to you about how it's made, about the women who make it, the communities they're from, the impact the shea butter economy has on their community and their family, their children. We're going to talk about cultural stuff. We're also going to talk about some things that a lot of people don't know. A lot of people think that raw and unrefined shea butter is all natural. The reality is most raw and unrefined shea butter is actually produced in industrial factories and extracted with chemicals. What people wanting pure natural shea butter really want to go for handcrafted and handmade shea butter. And that's what we're going to be showing you as we go through the steps in the process. We're going to talk about sustainability and conservation in, in shea butter. And, and uh, we'll talk some about how we do it. We'll talk some about how it's done generally. And we'll cover off uh, a lot of other fun things about the community and life in Northern Ghana. And uh, as the, the weeks go on, when I'm in Ghana, when I'm in the community, we'll probably have some uh, different topics. We'll do some of these live live from the field. So. Let's jump into it now. This is the introduction, so we're just going to cover a few things. Shea butter is about women. It's about family and community, but it's so core to the culture and the community. And one of the things that is so neat, one as a, as a Canadian making some of my first trips into African villages a lot of years ago, but uh, I was so struck by the way meetings are, are open, by the joy and energy and song and dance that's uh, that's brought to bear at uh, important events. So I just want to share this uh, quick video of some women dancing. You see the children in the background. And this is just before we opened a meeting with one of the women's groups that we work with in the community. Just sets a fun tone. You can see uh, see some of the uh, the gourds, the the traditional instruments they're using. But th those sorts of, of things just set a fun tone. And you, as you'll see as we go on, as you see some of them working, there's such a social aspect to to the uh, work as as well. I love this picture on the on my right. I don't know which right it is, whether it's right or left for you looking at it, but the one of the, the shea balls in, in the basin. And this is how shea butter is traditionally sold. Women will uh, make it uh, make it into balls, carry it often many, many miles in, in the hot sun and sit in a hot market selling it by the ball. And what they don't sell they have to bring home again. And this picture has guinea fowl, which, uh, you know, when I think of Ghana, I think of, uh, of guinea fowl. They're an amazing bird. The, uh, the women we work with uh, made a song and, and a dance uh, about making shea butter that I, I think is, is worth sharing here. It, it, uh, it really shares some of the joy and some of the energy that they uh, bring and, and, and that women everywhere bring to making shea butter when they are respected and compensated uh, properly. Unfortunately, that's not always the, the case. We, uh, we take particular pride in how we work with women, but we don't pretend to be the only ones. There's a lot of other groups out there that are doing really good as, as well. So let's take a look at this. Hey! So that song is called From Our Hands to Yours. And, and the women made it because they wanted to celebrate making shea butter. And they are so proud of the quality of shea butter they make. And then it goes from their hands to people all around the world. And uh, 
With Baraka Shea Butter, they actually make a handprint on top of the carton before it leaves. And you get to that as as we get to it in, in the future. But that's where the, the from our hands to yours part comes in. So many wonder, you know, where, where are we? Shea Butter grows in, uh, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, let me just sort of highlight this. Uh, I think it'll work. Oh, there we go. I'm messing it up some, but... You know that's way out of out of whack. Let me let me try. This is really hard because I can't see where the cursor is, but you know, kind of in that area there, it uh, it grows and probably a little further off, maybe a little bit further down. But it's uh, it's not a large area where where it grows. And it's a particular. Uh, climactic area. It's, it's kind of on the edge of the Sahel, on, on the edge of the uh, the Sahara. It doesn't grow in uh, in tropical areas. It needs long uh, dry spells. This this uh, this map just shows you where we work. So it shows you where Ghana is. It shows you the country of Ghana, and we work up in uh, in northwestern Ghana near Wa. And then you can see some of the women and some of the shea butter. So as we go forward, um, here's some topics that we have uh, selected. The first ones are very much about the process of making shea butter. It's the different different steps say, in the process, getting through to shea butter. We're going to get into some shea butter issues. Uh, we've got some sessions dealing with uh, traditional soap, soap, how they traditionally made shea soap and black soap and other uses for uh, for shea butter and and some fun ones. There's a great video of some uh, girls playing uh, football, soccer we call it in in North America, with a uh, you know made up ball, a sock or something stuffed with uh, with tape and things and made into a ball. But I've got a little uh, video here that uh, it's about three minutes I think, and it's just going to walk you through the steps of making shea butter and. Uh, you know, then that will be it for this one. We'll get uh, get ready to uh, jump right in next week. To recognize the song. so amazing this dry mealy roasted uh, roasted shea bar crushed shea nuts goes goes in and it comes out this viscous this fluid with the oils released this is hard work because they need the water in and as they they whip it they whip it by hand and, and you'll see it's incredibly hard work and they do it with with such passion and, and joy it's, it's really incredible to watch Center picture, you can see a woman making her handprint on top of the carton as I was talking about. It really is an incredible product and it has so much impact. It has impact on the people who make products with it, on their customers who, uh, who use it, and so much impact on, on women and, and families in Ghana especially when it's handcrafted uh, shea butter. The, 
the stuff that's uh, that's just taken in sacks and hauled off to industrial factories and chemically processed has very little impact in in the community. So that's it. Next uh, episode, which will likely happen in about a week, fruit happens. Um, other things happen too, but anyway, fruit fruit happens. So we'll uh, can't have a taste, but you can learn about the uh, about shea fruit. So thanks a lot. If you like this, please share it. Uh, please let me know other things about shea butter that you would be interested in knowing, and we can look at uh, covering them. And thanks.